Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller. And today I am very, very tired. Actually headed out to a community sale. I've gotten about four hours of sleep because my daughter was having problems with a wisdom tooth coming in that is partially impacted. So it was, it, it became infected. So I had to take her to the ER to get on some antibiotics. And uh, yeah, so very, very late night. I am probably gonna be like extra out of it today. So bear with me. All right, let's get out there and see what we can find. Right now that I know, but you Maybe know. Maybe swing back, okay? My yeah. name is Jules. Okay, Jules, and I'm Polly. Nice to meet you, nice Polly. Have a good day. Yeah. I'm going to have other stones, too, and I also have, I have my own jewelry that I have. Okay. That I'm going to be selling, but they're, um... is this? Let's see. That one there separately would be uh, separately I'm going to say 18, but I can also do groupings. And right, I right. Really yeah, okay. Alright, that's think, probably I'll the only one. On that, but like I said, the, the gal that I have these for, uh -huh. I don't get caught in the numbers. Uh -huh. So if you see different ones, Right. Okay. Well, I'm going to look around. Okay. Thank you. The more you buy, the cheaper. Gotcha. How much is this? Uh, she wants 35. 35? Okay. Alrighty. Mom, be careful. Hi. Hi. 
morning. Mm -mm, it's a baking set. Kind of neat. A Philly's bat tie. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> that was a, in hindsight, all the Christmases and stuff. I'm like, I guess he didn't need any more. <laughs> Alrighty. All right, I think I'm just going to take okay. this. You wouldn't do any less on the oven set, would you? Uh, we can do eight. All right, I'll take that too then. So eight and eleven, nine, ten, Dollar. and then I don't know what that one is. Five, I think yep. it says. So yeah. Sorry. No How much is the clock? Do you know if it works? Does it work, Jack? The clock? Does the clock work? It was working, yes. Yeah. Unless, what goes on there? Um, I think this. Mm. I think this hooks on. I'm not really sure, to be honest. Oh, okay. How much is it? Um, five. Oh, that hooks up there. This oh, that goes hooks on here. up there, and then that goes and then this there. This is the pendulum, and this is the instructions on how to do it. Oh, okay. Right All right. Well, that's, I think that's an instruction. I found it down there with them. We have instructions, one day cuckoo clock. All right. Those are the instructions. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sit down and I'll report, please. So I picked up this German cuckoo clock. I don't know. Some of these used to do well. I don't know if this is one of them. We'll find out. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Is that a camera you got? Yep, it's my GoPro. What does that do? I vlog. Oh, yeah, some of it, not all of it.
down and around. And over. Excuse me. This works and everything? Uh, yes, it's, it's actually brand new. Mm, okay. It's, what is it, eight? Yeah, Oops. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. That's a, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine. These are cute coasters. That's another one. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Would you do any less for both of them? Yes. Make me, just make me an all And how much are these? I, what is that? What does it say? Is that eight? Eight dollars? Oh, okay. All right. These are pretty too. Well, with that set and those two, and then this stuff, would you do twenty-five? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to take that. I just want to keep looking around for a second. Okay. I'm just going to put this somewhere. Or I guess I'll carry it, maybe. It's a cute penguin. It's what mommy and daddy say that counts, honey, not nanny, because nanny tells you yes for everything. Oh, I could use a car vacuum. <laughs> All right. So I can just pile that stuff there while I look around. Thanks. 25, yeah. Yep. Those are neat. Thank you. How much are these? Uh, yeah, four of them. Dollar for four of them. Dollar for four, sold. I will take them. These are kind of cool. <laughs> These are neat. Oh yeah, I got so much trains. These trains are heavy. Castle. Oh, I like that castle. How much are the different ones? Uh, the little ones are fifty cents a piece. Okay. And these are two bucks. Mm -hmm. This one's two dollars. How much for just one? Fifty cents. Alrighty. Do you have boxes for them, or they just go in a box? They'll, they'll just go in one of those. White oh, okay. Boxes. Okay. That one's got some chips. I was interested in the train ones because these are like real heavy. Yeah. These are well, these three are are um, five dollars. No, oh, those are five. Okay. 
Well, I'm going to take this one. Ooh, okay. I'm losing my shoe here. <laughs> yeah, don't lose your shoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do like That's that one. That's the castle one. Yeah. Oops. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. Gotcha, gotcha. It's a China China set. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those are a dollar piece. Okay. Morning, how are you? All right, what do I do with that? Here we go. I left it over here. Why do I do that? All right, so I'm taking this and okay. I'm taking those four things down there. Okay. This one you said was two. Yep. That's cute. Are you getting that, Mom? Well, you can get it if you want it. So I just owe you. I got a lot of stuff anyway, so I'll let you get it. I have so <laughs> How much is it? Dollar. Oh. It's real heavy. Be careful. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Well then, I owe you four. Okay. Then I owe you a dollar. Don't forget your yep. things down there. Okay. Okay. Do that. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll grab those. All right, guys, now I'm going to show you what I got at the community sale. It's a couple days later. I am revived. <laughs> I finally got some sleep. I was literally sleepwalking through that entire sale. It was so bad. I was so tired, as you could see in the beginning. Uh, so anyway, before I get into this haul, I'm going to give you a quick little update on Max. I know I haven't updated anyone recently. So everything pretty much came out okay with his cat scan they found that he does have um a lymph node that's slightly enlarged but that could be for a couple different reasons and they're just going to kind of keep an eye on that he also did have when they got the culture results back they found that he's got a pasturella infection in his throat so he's on antibiotics for two weeks I bought a bark collar. I was supposed to try to keep him from barking. So I got the bark collar in the mail and it's got these like two little prongs on it. And then it's got this sheet of instructions and it's saying like, don't leave it on for any more than six hours. Don't leave it on when they're laying down. Don't uh, this and that and the other thing. And quite frankly, it scared me. And it's got these two prongs that kind of like go into their, their neck. And I don't know, it just like freaked me out. And I mean, he lays down a lot. So how am I gonna follow him around and take this thing on and off all the time and everything else? So I'm like, you know what? I think I'm gonna send it back, honestly. Uh, and he's part Jack Russell. So I don't know if that thing would even stop him from barking. So, so far his bark is pretty much the same. He does have good days where it sounds pretty good and then other days when, when it doesn't. So I don't really know. We'll see what happens with the medication. So that's where we're at for now. And uh, let's just get into this haul. So crazy, finally someone commented on my GoPro. You saw that little action, interaction, interaction. 
uh, maybe I am still out of it. Saw that little interaction in the beginning of the video, so that was a little bit awkward. First time that's happened to me, and I'm sure it won't be the last, but all right, let's get into it. So I picked up these two packs of, um, I don't know if that, is that Rydell, I guess you would say, uh, a wine glass company. This is the O Champagne Tumbler. These are pink, or they have a little pink, they don't really look pink in the video probably, but you can see it towards, oh yeah, there you go, towards the bottom, they have a pink hue to them. And I think these are going to do well. I definitely should get at least $50 for these two boxes together. Uh, the pink I think is a little more rare. And I paid a dollar a box for these. So that was definitely a good, definitely a good pickup. Really happy with those. Uh, I did pick up two ties. I still have ties to list from this other sale a couple weeks ago, and I don't know where the heck they are. I have to find the bag. I don't pick a lot of ties up anymore unless I find them at the bins for really cheap, but I don't know. I thought this was kind of cool. The Phillies baseball bat tie, like, I don't know, it was kind of unique. And I figured I used to pick a lot of these novelty ties up, but I really don't, not so much anymore because they tend to sit for a while, but I figured Thanksgiving will be coming up soon. Maybe some, some, uh, gentleman needs a turkey tie, right? So I did pick that up. I picked up this set of ooh, Temptations by Tara. It's in this, this case, which I really like. I ended up getting it for $8, as you can see in the video as well, but it looks to be a three-piece set with the wire rack. It looks like it's got trivets in there. It's got all the lids, so it's um, got a lot going for it. And this one, I will probably sell as a complete set. I will not part this out because it's in the little case and everything like that. So not sure what I'm gonna sell that for yet. Probably between 30 and $40. Uh, I did pick this up, Sandy Cast by Sandra Brew. This is like a chow dog, I believe. And these used to sell for a lot more money several years ago, but sometimes they still they still do okay. This has a couple of nicks or whatever, but that's typical. It's just in the paint, really. It's typical of these. But, you know, a lot of times people want to get these. They use them as doorstops or whatever. They look for the same breed of dog that they have. So I paid a dollar for it. My mother kept thinking this was a lion. I'm not sure why. I guess because of the, the mane here, but I don't know. It doesn't really look like a lion to me. <laughs> it does look like a dog. So anyway, picked this up for a dollar. I also picked all these up for a dollar. I've been having luck selling these. This is like the, the Sirocco, Sirico. I, someone actually told me how to pronounce this. And of course I don't remember, but... Um, so these are like crests and I picked up four of them. It was a dollar for all four. And I just, I think these are pretty darn cool if you ask me. So yeah. All right. And then I picked up these Ainsley uh, Bone China. I believe these are coasters. in the Pembroke pattern. Uh, let's see, reproduction of an 18th century Ainsley design. So I'm not really sure how these will do, but Ainsley's a pretty good name and they were $2, so I grabbed them. And along along with those, I picked up, I picked up these two new wave, uh, what are these? Uh, precision induction cooktop. That's, that's what it is. So yeah, got the book and everything. This one was not in the box and it looks like it may have been gently used. So she had eight on this one. And then I have another one over there, which is uh, the exact same thing, but that one's still in the box. And that one was marked 10. So I ended up bundling some stuff together. Um, I'm pretty sure that was in the, the footage as well. And I got everything for $25. So I got these two new wave induction cooktops and I've sold these before uh I think the last one was the copper chef though I don't think it was new wave but I'm hoping to get like maybe 40 or 50 a piece for these 
and then I did bundle the Ainsley with that and what else I bundled oh oh it's over let me grab it okay I bundled all this stuff together so this is um HP 92 there's oh and this is 93 tricolor so it must be for like the same printer and then we have a loose one in here uh that's another black 92 so these are expired but should get a little bit for them two dollars but i kind of like i said bundled all this stuff together and then i picked up this set this almost looked like 18 to me with that little line on the side but then she said it was eight but this was included in the bundle so this is savannah williams sonoma so there are four these are these are like pasta serving bowls kind of shallow four of those and then the large got like some kind of a crumb in it and then the large serving bowl so you guys know i always pick up the william sonoma stuff and uh yeah so that was pretty cool all right, then at one of the places, I did pick up this Tracy Porter Sugar and Creamer set. Tracy Porter is another brand that can do pretty well, but you really have to look it over because it's the type of ceramic pottery that chips really easily. So it is pretty desirable, but you do have to look out for the chips. Um, all right, so then I picked this guy up. I know I passed on a bunch of plush the other day. Uh, I like to get plush cheap because sometimes, especially if it's from the, the Disney store, sometimes uh, it's kind of, the market's kind of saturated with it. Unless you find one of the more rare characters or whatever. Um, but sometimes if I find it cheap, I will pick it up. This guy is uh, Disney store exclusive, but I just thought he might be a little more rare. Little Eeyore in like this moose body. Or possibly reindeer body? No, that's not reindeer. Reindeers don't look like that. He's a moose. So anyway, I paid 50 cents for him. And at this sale, the man gave me free cookies. Win-win. Although I have to say, I did not like the cookies. They're kind of gross. He had Girl Scout cookies. He said he made a trade with someone from down south because they had... Uh, a s'mores cookie which I believe they have up here too but that one's round these are kind of like long and then he had some kind of lemon and well I didn't even try the s'mores because I'm not a big fan of s'mores I know the majority of the nation probably loves s'mores and I don't I am just kind of weird like that so just like opening the pack and smelling them made me like oh no and the lemon I tried those and they were kind of horrible so yeah it's a good thing anyway because I don't need to be eating cookies so yeah 50 cents for this guy all right then I picked up this cool pair of Harley boots they have some wear and everything but they're still pretty pretty neat and I paid five dollars for them they are a women's and I think let me see what size they are they are a size eight so yeah, I um, thought they were pretty neat. This I picked up for 50 cents. <laughs> I thought this was funny. I love stuff like this. Uh, it's an attitude apron. Your opinion wasn't in the recipe. <laughs> I, this cracked me up, like I have to get this. So yeah, this will be going up in my eBay store at some point. Um, I don't know, I don't really wear aprons. I just opt to ruin every single shirt I'm wearing while I cook. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be for sale, but I think it's really cool. I, I think that's really funny. Um, all right. So then I picked up this castle. Uh, you could see that in the footage. The lady had a bunch of different castles and some like little train things or whatever. So I thought maybe these would do okay. Most of them were chipped. I was looking at them and most of them were chipped or had some kind of damage. This one seemed to be okay. And I actually sold a puzzle 
of this same castle about a month ago. So I don't know. I decided to pick it up. It's Danbury Mint. It's, I don't know, some German castle. I'm not even going to begin to try to butcher that. But yeah, I picked this up for $2. I did leave all the rest. Um, the train station ones were like five. Uh, they did have some chips. I don't know. I should have looked those up real quick, but I didn't. All right, so then I picked up this this flatware set, um, stainless by Present Fifth Avenue. It says on the box, but these, I don't know. These are not. What are they? King Arthur. All right, so these are these are King Arthur by Present. I don't know this brand or anything, and they don't feel like super high quality, but they definitely look vintage. And I, I kind of like that open style pattern. So I actually think these are going to do okay. I did not look them up, but I will. But the great thing is they are all like new in the sleeve. So, I mean, this group has definitely not been used. So for $5, I know I will make I will make a profit off of that. Uh, so then, let's see what else. What else do I have here? Oh, these I picked up. I picked these up in the beginning of the video. Uh, I believe these are Libby, but the, these little circus animals. I just think these are really cool. They're all, I got four of them. They're different colors. So, I like those. I'm not going to unwrap them all. Alrighty. So then, um, I have a friend who lives in the area. He's also a reseller. And he ended up, he was there too. Actually, a lot of people were there. And uh, But he texted me and he was like, I picked up something I think you'll like. He pretty much knows what I buy. Um, he's probably watching this. <laughs> so... He texted me, he said he had all this Longaberger pottery, which he very well could have sold himself. So I'm really grateful that he decided to see if I wanted it. So we met up and, you know, I paid him what he paid for it, uh, $35. And he gave me like four boxes full of Longaberger pottery. So super exciting. Thank you so much, Steve, if you're watching this. I greatly appreciate it. It was a really awesome thing to do because like I said, he could have definitely sold this stuff himself. Um, so actually, this is funny. This piece I picked up after after he gave me all these boxes. I picked up two pieces of Longer Burger pottery afterwards. So I picked this up. It's black, it was 75 cents, and it looks like it's probably to put a candle on maybe. That's what I think. Uh, but I know a lot of the stuff that he gave me, uh, we have the cornflower blue in here. This is the woven traditions, cornflower blue. I, oh, these, this is a mix. I see a mix here. We have some yellow. These are like, uh, bread plates, I believe. We have green. I don't even know what's in all of these boxes. We have more cornflower blue. Uh, there's four boxes worth of stuff. Some, um, has larger pieces in. Uh, I really, I have to, I still haven't taken it all out. So I don't even know, but it looks like a lot of great stuff in here. So I am super excited about that. I don't really pick up the baskets when I'm out. Some, someone did ask me like, don't you think that, you know, there's any value in the baskets? And to be honest, the baskets are not as collectible as they used to be, and they tend to be very overpriced still out at the yard sales. And uh, I'm sure there are ones that do sell online for a decent amount still. I'm sure there's still money to be made out there on some certain Longer Burger baskets, but I don't know which ones they are. And for the majority, I just kind of, I pass by them and pick up the stuff I do know. Uh, so anyway, but the pottery, I always pick up. I always pick up the pottery as long as it's in good condition. And sometimes, sometimes even if it's not, cause that last group of it from the thrift store, 
it was all bundled together and I couldn't see the exact condition of the bottom pieces until I unwrapped it. And then I was a little bit disappointed, but I already sold some of those pieces and made my money back anyway. Um, so yeah, really happy about that. And I am going to, I have to see what else I got here. So I picked this up. It looks like it has a matte border, but it's actually all one piece. Um, I don't know. I just, I thought it was kind of neat. So I grabbed it. It was a dollar. And then I picked up this cat kind of print. I don't know if you can see that there with the candles. He's clearly waiting for a meal. <laughs> That was $3, and I just thought it was really cool, so I picked that up. So then I picked up two of these GameSir. Um, I don't know what the heck this is. It's something, you know, it's compatible with, like, PS4, Xbox One, uh, PS3, Switch, and PC. So just, like, a keyboard and stuff. Um, I did look to make sure that the receivers were in here, and they were, and they look to be in pretty good condition. Oh wait, I'm not seeing the receiver in this one now, and it was in here. Oh, it is. It's in there. Oh, this is the one, actually. This one has a little indentation right here, but that is just that's just cosmetic that's not going to affect you know the use of it or anything so i picked these up for five dollars a piece and i think they should sell for at least 40. i am going to look them up again but yeah so two of those the boxes have a little a little bit of wear and i picked these up i'm not sure it's like an enamel like a metal enamel, but I thought they were kind of cool. I think I paid a dollar for these and it is the Golden Rabbit 1997. So I do have to look those up and see if they're worth anything, but I thought they were kind of neat. And I picked these up for a dollar, a pair of kids LeBrons and they're in pretty darn good condition. They just need to be wiped down a little bit. And yeah, a dollar, one dollar. I really like the color on these. I think they will do well. All right. <laughs> then I picked this up. <laughs> I just thought it was kind of funny. So I don't know, I like picking stuff up like that. I might put it on my desk for a while. Who knows? That was 25 cents. No, 50 cents. Everything, that they just wanted to clear everything out. So everything was 50 cents. So I picked up these American Girl doll sneakers. And I don't know. This is more like American Girl doll stuff. They had $5 on it. And yeah, it looks like maybe a dress and shoes, but yeah, 50 cents. So that was like American Girl doll clearance. All right, so I picked this German, it is marked Germany in the back. It's a cuckoo clock. Uh, I'm going to have to see if all the pieces are here. I think they are. Uh, but I think that this should sell well even without, like if there is a little something off about it. It looks pretty complete, but I will have to look it over. They usually don't sit for long at the sales in this area. Like people scoop those up pretty darn quick. So I was actually shocked to still find it there and for $5. Uh, more PSP games, PS2. I don't think this one's really worth much, but... It's a shame because I thought it might be kind of cool, but we'll see. Uh, this is, 
This is false graph. Now, not many people recognize this type of stuff from false graph, but I always do. This is the T rose pattern. I've actually sold this before for, I think around 40 or $50. This you would put like your mail in here or whatever. It's got a little drawer, put, I don't know, rubber bands, like whatever, like office supplies or whatever. So this does have some issues on the inside. It's got some stuff I'm gonna have to try to clean up and scrape off, but for the most part, it's a solid piece. I've, um, see, it is marked. It is marked back there, but uh, yeah, I recognize this immediately because I've sold this and I've also sold the wooden paper towel rack that hangs on the wall. I think I sold that for around 60 or 70 in the past. So I love finding these wooden coordinating pieces to the pattern. So yeah, um, I know T Rose is a popular one for these type of pieces and uh, even, nature wood that's the other one i was thinking about so yeah these are kind of more more of the rare pieces you don't come across as often so she did have it marked three i only had two dollar two singles like on me so i didn't want to break a 10 so i was like would you take two and she said yes so and like i said i am gonna have to clean this one up a little but that was a super cool find okay and then i did pick up a longer burger pie plate a pottery pie plate and I think I must have left that out in my car still because I'm not seeing it and I did also pick up that um, Yadro figurine that was in the beginning of the video I picked that up for five dollars and I think that I left that in my car as well so yeah I'm looking around and I don't I don't see it I tried to bring everything in here and I must have missed that piece so yeah that is going to wrap up this haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, I think I got a lot of cool stuff and I am super excited about it. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, let me know what you thought of this haul. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.